Hello, everybody. Um, last time we spoke a, about um, the Kabbalah of gaming, and we alluded to uh, four, uh, 14 potential games that we could develop. So I thought to uh, discuss one potential game. Uh, it's from the 11th of the 14 pairings of time uh, mentioned in Kohelet, Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. Uh, it's the 11th. It says... Aisli Kroav, Aisli Spor, a time to rend and a time to sow. So the what would be a game around this? Around, around this concept of a time to rend and a time to sow. It could be that it relates to some other times, but I had I had I had this this uh, pairing in mind. So imagine a prince this is the story arc, and the game will uh, be explained through. So a prince was betrothed to the love of his life. From childhood, they're, they're uh, destined, set for each other. And during cover of darkness, the, uh, the neighboring and opposing ki uh, kingdom snatches his beloved, kidnaps her, and brings her back to the kingdom in the north, and this is he is res, resides in the southern kingdom. So obviously, this is a very uh, traumatic and and uh, hard, uh, difficult time for him. Uh, he tries to get his his father, the king, to wage war against the northern kingdom, and the, the his father did not want to do that. Did not want to wage all that war, uh, although he felt for his son uh, it was. Very saddened as well by the situation, but he, um, you know, he didn't want to, uh, wasn't ready to wage all that war. So he was, the son, the prince was very angry, very upset, and in time he started to receive letters from his betrothed. And these letters, uh, talked about all the uh, the things that she was learning and all the experiences that she had. And at first he was happy to receive the letters, but then he realized that she was uh, being enamored. She, she began to be, become enamored by all the talk of the, the math and the sciences, uh, all the exploration and, and um, scientific discoveries, uh, worldly discoveries that they um, uh, put as the forefront of their aspirations in the Northern Kingdom. See, the Southern Kingdom was uh, centered on, on Torah, on learning about God's Word and um, uh, observance, uh, living an observant life in uh, with Torah learning, learning the, the divine wisdom. And the Northern Kingdom was focused on the lower wisdom of man, uh, learning about the natural sciences. So he got these letters and he didn't know what to do with it. He was very upset and it was very troubling to him. And then over time he started to realize that there is there is a consistent theme in these in these letters that each letter uh, was an encounter with another group of uh, of scholars, either mathematicians, physicists, scientists, and so forth. And they all seemed uh, to have this melancholy despondence about them that she was not used to, uh, having grown up in the Southern Kingdom. And she couldn't understand uh, what was, why this was. They had, uh, ex could explore the entire universe and uh, all these, these wonderful thoughts and, and, and ideas that were so novel to her in uh, all the natural sciences, and here they had this melancholy about them. So the son took it upon himself to start learning uh, about these disciplines. And at first he was obviously hesitant. He had not grown up with this. But the more he started learning, the more he, at first he said, well, maybe this was would be a way that I could get back to um, re reunite with my beloved is to is to move to the north. And he realized that, no, this is the intention of the north, that by taking my beloved, 
it's their their way of saying that the North is is a more exciting, more um, um, alluring way to live. And if the prince would move up to the north, then the the whole this would be a sign to to, to the uh, to the whole southern kingdom uh, that the sun the prince has moved up to the north and that the north uh, will ultimately prevail in their battle against the south. Right now it was a silent battle, but still it was this 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 struggle, this tug of war back and forth between the north and the south. So he realized no. He can't just stay where he is. He loves her dearly, and he's getting these letters, and he, he wants to find a way to reconnect with her, but at the same time, he's not ready to just move up to the north and, and live with her and marry in the north. So he devises a plan that he's going to uh, take the role of a mathematician, uh, of a scientist, of a, of a physicist, at, at all these different times, um, biologist and so forth, he's going to to play the part and and meet with these these uh these groups that that she is depicting. So he doesn't tell his father. He, he travels on these missions, and so th- this is where the, the the game begins, where he's he's traveling on a mission to a specific group that he received a letter from his betrothed about. So let's say the the letter is to a group of physicists. So he, he, he goes and he, he acts like he's a traveling from a faraway land. And he's a, he's a student of, of, of phys- physics and he, he, he's been learning in the South about physics. And he starts to, to become friendly with them and talk to them. And, and they start asking him questions. And, he, and part of the game is that he has to pass these, these initial questions to, to make sure that he's, he's one of them. And then they start, uh, once he really gets into it, they start to they start to really say what's bothering them, and what's really bothering them is that every theory that they have is lacking something. It's incomplete. It's it's not. You know, you have the, ultimately the unified field th- theory. What? Well, you have these 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 four forces, and they, they're not able. They haven't figured out how to join them all together. They all operate in in different different ways. And, uh, and that's just one, one example of, 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 of things that they, they, um, they trouble them and they, they don't have the answer of how to reconcile it. Well, neither does he uh, originally. Then he goes back and he studies and he, and he realizes that in order to, 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 to fully befriend these, 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 this, this group, he has to, give them a gift, give them something that they'll appreciate. And he realizes that, that gift is in Torah, in, in the inner dimension of the Torah, in Kabbalah and Chassidus, and that this has the answer for how to to bring unity and completeness to to these things that are troubling them. So he goes and, and he's able to answer the questions correctly and able, and able to, to, to provide... Uh, answers to the answers to their clues that that bring about this 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 greater unity and this is again these encounters will be played out in the game where he'll be sitting around them and he it, it's 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 about bringing together this this mending process this mending and this this unity of things that they 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 thought were were torn apart and broken and so, so ultimately, they're they're really happy by by the result of, of these these innovations that he came that he came about uh, to, to 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 present to them, and then they ask, "Where did you get this from?" So then he starts explaining about about the, the Torah and about divine wisdom, and they get very excited. And then f- from group to group, um, slowly he starts to to have this through his cland- clandestine um, visits to the north. He's able to start. Uh, getting uh, followers, secret secret admirers, and and ultimately um, people that that are hidden supporters of, of the way of the South, the way of of of, of uh, at least this this what's called the uh, the unity of, of of sewing together, of joining together the the divine wisdom of of the Torah and then the lower wisdom of the sciences. So his betrothed starts seeing 
that the these same groups of people traveling past her are happy and they're joyous. She starts asking questions and, and seeing what's what's going on. And slowly she starts to realize that that really what we, what she was seeking all along is 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 vested is is still within her her betrothed, but now you now because she was kidnapped because she was taken to the north, now now the the south is is itself recognizing it is itself these groups and the, these groups that the sun has been the the prince has been traveling to. Has, has has awakened the desire for completion and unity. Uh, so this is this is the story arc, and then they get married, and and uh, this, this this celebration, and it, it unites the the the, the, North, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, and this this great celebration. So the 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 way that this plays out in the game is is like a um, kind of like a discovery. Sometimes Kabbalah informs science before the, the scientists realize it. So it'll, it'll, we could include real life ex examples of that. And sometimes it's just seeing seeing the bigger picture of how everything unites together in a way that, that uh, someone who is only vested in science is unable to do. So there's, there's a lot of exciting things that we can add, teachings from Kabbalah. And also, um, even when he's answering the, the questions correctly, whatever the discipline, we can also say, click here to, to learn about what Kabbalah says about this. So everything could be uh, explained according to Kabbalah for anyone who, who wants to, to search deeper into it. So the, um, we, we said that this is the 11th, uh, 11th uh, of the 14 times I mentioned in Ecclesiastes, the, the prayers of times. And we also mentioned last time that, it that each of these 14 can, car can be corresponding to the 14 days, the first 14 days of the month of Nisan. So the 11th of Nisan is the birthday of the, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, who um, was very much knowledgeable in, uh, in, in physics and in, in science and mathematics. And he uh, made this, these unifications between Torah and science. So a lot of uh, the... the communicating with physicists, and, and we have in letters, um, there's a lot that is uh, that we have from, from the Lubavitcher Rebbe himself. And again, it's, it's the unity between, between these two opposites. So when it's, you, the end result is this great celebra celebration, but it's, it's a, this, through the whole process of first tearing of, of his betrothed being torn away from him, and then the ultimate mending so this is just um, one, one idea that called mending me, the, the the tentative title mending the game. Thank you.